All right, guys, here's the much anticipated update on the new Dorman Fast 90 copy intake manifold uh, versus the LS6 factory GM intake manifold. As you can see, I pretty much have everything ready to go on mine. Um, did some cleaning up here on the ports, did some porting underneath the runners there. Nothing too great to show, um, just me being particular. Um, as you can see, size difference, about the same. I did move my map sensor up here to the front. I did have to make an extension harness for it. Didn't take too long. Some of you might choose to put it in the back here. There is a tab where you can put the map sensor back here. Um, that shows to do it up there. Why not? Um, still got the brake booster line here and I already redid the AC vacuum line uh, I already got a cap on here uh, but I'm going to be taking my reference from right up here off of that nipple um, I can't wait to get this thing on um, one other thing some installation tips you will have to adjust your steam port your vent tube here um, I just used a light hammer just to tap it down not enough to where it's going to rub against the water pump or cause any problems uh, mine is a 2002 so i don't have a steam port vent tubes in the back there so i don't have anything to worry about and another thing uh, the dorman kit did come with these uh, cap screws instead of using the old style um, which uh Here's the new style there. So it does sit a little bit further um, down into the valley so it won't hit the bottom of the intake manifold. I did see in test fitting where it would rub. Um, another thing I did to mine that was a little bit different than most, I've had this heat shield products, heat shield for my LS6 intake manifold that I never put on, so I decided to put it on here. Uh, it's a great upgrade. Definitely dyno proven. Uh, you can go online and, and check out the Super Chevy or Hot Rod magazine write up on it on a C6 Corvette or a C5 Corvette, sorry, and perform very well. It's only 50 bucks, so definitely worth the time while you have everything out. It only took me about, I don't know, 30 minutes to install with me being particular with this stuff here. Who knows what's going to help? I just got bored. So there's the update. I'm just going to go ahead and continue putting this thing in now and, uh, uh, show you guys when it's all in and how it does. All right. Thanks for watching